just think, two years ago, this girl was wearing flared jeans. And now the same little punk has attracted the attention of a Yaley. That's because she started wearing tight jeans. <laughs> well, I got to admit, though, things have been going pretty good for me lately. Don't say that. Why not? The fates, they'll hear you. Next thing you know, your life's in the toilet. <laughs> Give me that mumbo jumbo. I got everything under control. I'm at the top of my class. She's only near the top. I'm going out with a great guy. But he's not perfect. She admitted that. <laughs> my life couldn't be much better. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. <laughs> Anybody here feel like running away from home? Meg! I can't believe it's you! It's me. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, I've really missed you. You look gorgeous. Doesn't she look gorgeous? Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Tootie, Joe, Natalie, this is my sister, Meg. Hello. Oh, hi. hi. Blair, you don't have a sister. I do, too. Oh, okay, she's not exactly my sister. My mother was married to her father. It was Mother's second marriage and Alan's third. Oh, no, Monica was Daddy's fourth wife. Are you sure? I'm positive. My mom was Dad's second. Dorothy was the uh, third. Excuse me. Are you two related or not? <laughs> only by love. And trouble. You think you're the only one that does wild and crazy things, Joe? Meg and I ran away from home once. All the way to the guest house. <laughs> I was exhausted. Sure. You probably took along two suitcases and a garment bag. <laughs> did you know? Come on, Joe. We better hurry if we're going to catch that train. Mrs. Garrett, I want you to meet my sister, Meg. Hi. Hello. Blair, you don't have a sister. Uh, yes, she does. Blair's father was married to Meg's mother. No, Tootie, that's not right. Meg's father was married to Blair's second mother. No, no, that doesn't sound uh, right either. Come on, Mrs. G. I'll draw you their family tree on the windshield. Oh, well, whoever you are, Welcome, and I hope you stick around for a while. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'm on my way to Connecticut, but I'll be here all afternoon. Oh, great. Then I'll see you later. Make yourself at home, please. Thank Have you. Bye-bye. Good time, Thank Joe. You. Are you hungry? Maybe. What have you got? Come on. I'll whip you up one of my famous peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Oh, I could never say no to one of those. <laughs> so, what you been up to? It's almost like you dropped off the face of the earth. Well, I've been kind of busy. I haven't talked to you in over a year. Not even on my birthday. I know. I'm sorry about that. Here, happy birthday. Your bank book and the keys to your MG. Oh, Meg, you shouldn't have. The car would have been enough. <laughs> no. They're yours. What is this all about? Well, you know how I used to always bounce from one thing to another? Oh, you're buying a Porsche. Uh, no. Well, like even in college, I could never seem to settle on a major. Well, if you're going back to Paris, that's fine. But if you want to stay overnight, you're going to need some cash. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Paris. I'm not going anywhere. Blair, for the past year, I've been involved in something that really feels right for me. Well, that's wonderful. Well, it does require a lot of training. So what? If it's what you want to do, go for it. Oh, I knew you'd feel that way. You see, now, before I go on to the next phase, I have to relinquish all my worldly possessions. <laughs> relinquish your worldly possessions? That sounds like you've joined a convent. I have. Well, actually, we call it a formation house. I'll be living there like one of the sisters. And then in three months, I'll enter the novitiate. You're gonna be a nun? How? When? Why? <laughs> Blair, I finally found something that makes me feel complete. A nun? That's so romantic. <laughs> Tootie. She said she was going to be a nun, as in Mother Teresa with the lepers in India. <laughs>